community activist, educator, a force in the community. Those who knew Orphine Watkins Crump say she spent much of her 96 years working tirelessly, leaving an indelible mark. She was a um, well-loved pillar of her community um, and, and the family. You know, woman, faith-based, strong, strong believer in God. Kia Jordan says her grandmother is Black history. She's lauded for becoming the first woman to serve as a loan officer at Consolidated Bank and Trust in Jackson Ward, the nation's oldest Black bank founded by Maggie Walker. Mrs. Crump retired after 25 years as branch manager. She's also well-known for her push for education educational equality, making headlines after being appointed as the first African-American woman on the New Kent County School Board. And she really understood the value of education and business acumen from an early age. To advance her position at the bank, she attended night school while she was raising her three children alongside her husband. Intrigued and inspired by Mrs. Crump, Rodney Taylor, Damon Chapman, and fellow VCU alumni who met in the executive MBA program are now honoring Crump by creating a scholarship in her name. The many firsts that she had in her life and her, her commitment to education and how she really preached education and helped so many people uh, with education. It just seemed like it was a perfect marriage. So we were happy to announce the scholarship in the month of February, Black History Month. Proud of the racial barriers her grandmother was able to scale, Jordan is confident Mrs. Crump helped pave the way to a brighter future, not just in this community, but in our country. So when you see um, someone like Madam Vice President now Kamala Harris ascend to the White House, um, she would not have got there had it not been for, of course, the Shirley Chisholms of the world, but also those little people, you know, uh, that made those moments happen, like my grandmother, in their own communities. The $5,000 scholarship will be awarded to a VCU sophomore in the fall. Organizers say they'd like to grow their scholarship fund so that they can provide even more scholarships to other students. If you'd like to contribute, go to WTVR.com and we'll post more details.